and welcome to my show. And today what we have is a hydro level uh, VXT valve extra time 24, the 24 volt unit, which I received through the surplus market. And we're gonna put it through the paces uh, to make sure that it is acceptable to uh, receive into inventory. So, got a little screw loose there. <laughs> But uh, that is a minor problem. Um, we have a uh, S45 of a later manufacturer. I think it's a Robert Shaw uh, with the um, gasket there that's plastic. Um, makes it easy to remove this and pull out the strainer for inspection. Obviously, you wanna shut off the water prior to that. And there is the screen, and it looks clean. Uh, no debris. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. Dog it down, make sure you don't forget that. Um, I see traces of Blue Monster Teflon pipe tape there. And I see the, uh, see if I can, uh, I don't know how to turn on the uh, light. See if I can, there we are. And there is evidence that it was in service. Uh, there is a slight, um, very slight patina of water. Uh, it's not uh, shiny brass, but it's got a sort of uh, whitish build up there, but that's very minor. Uh, you can hook this. It looks like this valve can be hooked up um, as is. You don't need to replace it or take it apart and rebuild it. So we opened it up and it's date coded February 15th, 2021. Um, this is probably, uh, I think, a couple of months before they switched over to the um, movable valve. And we're going to go ahead and add 24-volt power to uh, the hot and the neutral terminals. And power it up, see what we got. All right, as you can see, we have what we what a brand new one that's right out, out of the factory box would show uh, the number two. This is showing 20. So this tried to feed 20 times, which means 20 gallons of uh, water passed through this unit in theory uh, or a less or more. That's fine too. So we're going to go ahead and uh, um, put it under test. Now the settings are here: two minutes and lower to cut off. So we are going to change that to so when you flip it from two minutes and you don't put another setting in there, it says error. Uh, we're going to go thirty seconds. And then we're going to switch it from low water cutoff, which is the default setting, to one gallon or one minute feed. And when we transfer power from this terminal to the middle terminal there, that will cause the unit to um, start its countdown. To feed, so we're gonna put a jumper from hot to feed. If you don't do that, it will not work properly. You see, we got a period after the zero, which means it's getting the proper signal. So, in about um, another 20 25 seconds or so. Uh, the unit will start to uh, feed, or the, the power will be sent to this solenoid here, and uh, it will 
attempt to open. Um, and I'll wait for that a little bit. You can probably fast forward to a little bit further along. There we go. So now it's going to open up the solenoid for a minute. If there is no water uh, connected, obviously nothing is flowing through. Uh, so it's going to, this is essentially a dumb show. It sounds normal. There's no loud noises. Um, obviously power is getting through. And in about 40 seconds or so, uh, this zero will click over to one and it'll stop. In a minute now, again, you can probably fast forward to uh, when that occurs. Uh, thank you for your patience. The other thing, of course, is this knockout um, is missing. That's another um, indication that this was put in, in service. Yep. And there's our one, so very shortly it's going to shut off. But there's a few second delay before it, uh, there it goes. And we still have a signal, so it's still going to... Um, attempt to feed. What it's doing now in theory is waiting for the water to come back from the system. And um, before, you don't want to add too much water to a boiler, uh, otherwise it, it may uh, flood. Uh, or if the water level is too high and the boiler fires, you're going to get wet steam, probably water hammer, and so forth. So the uh, boiler wants to operate at a fairly narrow range uh, between you know, probably at the middle third of the site glass fittings is, is in most cases, particularly for residential sizes. So there we go. It's going to uh, uh, attempt to feed uh, for one more minute. And uh, what should then happen is this will click over to two, and then it should go into LOC or lockout and not feed again. So it needs to see two consecutive attempts to feed. Um... If there is a break between this feed, in other words, if uh, this period goes out, then it'll 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 continue on with its cycle, but won't go into lockout. Um, so we're just checking the electronic circuit uh, to make sure it's ready to be um, put into inventory. Uh, basically, I'm gonna of course replace the screw, um, put in um, a. Set of adapters. These are half inch sweat by uh, three eighths male. Okay, now it's going to lock out. So this unit has been uh, at least checked electronically. Um, let's hit the switch to make sure the switch works. You can see it goes, it's still in lockout because we haven't removed the, um, the unit to, uh, to feed. So if I remove this uh, jumper, it'll it'll drop out of lockout and show 22. Or if I um, turn the power off and turn the power on again, it will then at, uh, attempt to do the same cycle. Let me do that. So I'm going to turn the power off. Turn the power back on. Now it's going to go through an, a whole other cycle. So if I remove this, the period is going to go away. And there we go. So this unit is checking out. Um, I would have no problem putting this back into service uh, in a 24 volt uh, control circuit. And uh, there you go. Folks, thank you very much. Um, and I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, and if you have any questions, please uh, put them below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Take care and happy steaming. Hmm.